All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started with today's assignment. Um, today's a uh, little fun to get a little bit of uh, opportunity to kind of enjoy. It's not every day that you get to pamper yourself during a class period. Um, your task card for week 19 on Friday, you have the lavender foot treatment, which is what you're going to be doing today. Please make sure that maybe while you're soaking or while the mask is on, and you're sitting there for five minutes that you put your name on your test card, you initial if you were present and completed the assignment. If you were absent, you didn't do it, so you did, don't initial unless if you went back, watched the recording for the day, did the assignment, and emailed me letting me know that you've done it, then you can initial. If not, then you don't get the 20 points for that day. Remember that it's 20 points per day, okay? 20 points per day, okay? All right, so... We're doing the lavender soak. Yesterday we did the cucumber hand treatment. Today we're doing the lavender foot soak or foot treatment. And I'm gonna go over the supplies that you're going to be needing. So obviously we're doing it on the feet. So you need your feet to get those ready. If you're at school, you're doing it on yourself. If you're at home, you can do it on yourself or you can do it on someone at home, okay? You need your bin. Should you have, be at school, you can use the big bins. Should you be at home and you have just a regular bin, this is fine. If you have a uh, liner still, you can use that. If not, just a trash bag will work just fine. If you don't have either one of those, just please make sure to, uh, you don't have to use it, just make sure I mean, you wash and sanitize it anyway, even if you have a liner, but just please make sure to extra super wash and sanitize if you don't have a liner, okay? So you do need that. Okay, we're gonna put, I'm gonna put this to the side back here. You're gonna need your squeezy bottle or something to rinse with, okay? Um, if you don't, that's fine. Like we did the, the hand with the rinsing, you can do that as well. It's just a lot easier if you have. Please make sure to wash and sanitize this when you're done and empty it out. Okay, you're gonna need your towels. For those of you at school, you know where those are when you're done putting it in the dirty towel bin. Um, you're going to need your petty slippers. Your petty slippers you can wear at the end so that your um, feet finish drying. As you're, if, you, if you're gonna be walking around with these in the, depart, in the cosmetology department, please be careful not to slip and please make sure to put your shoes back on before you leave class so that you don't slip, okay? Don't want you to slip. All right, so you have two spatulas. You have your regular popsicle stick type spatula and your tongue depressor type spatula. We call them, we don't call them popsicle sticks, we call them uh, spatulas. These are disposable, so you throw these one time used, you throw these away. You can use both ends, okay? With this particular service or this time, I want, yesterday we applied the mask with our hands, okay? Today I want you to apply the mask, okay? You're gonna scoop it and you're gonna apply the mask with the spatula as if this was a brush. So this is another way of applying a mask. So with the wooden spatulas, you want to be careful. A lot of times on the edges, like this one right here, oh, I just picked it out, you can get a, a splinter. So it's not the most popular way to apply a mask, but you, you might run across it. It's, it's an option, but you definitely want to be careful not to hurt your client. So you don't push down and you definitely don't go downwards, um, like kind of like a knife cutting type of, um, of, of a stroke. Just simply because on the edges, a lot of the times there are splinters. So you just want to gently apply the mask on the hand with this, okay? Or I'm sorry, on the foot or feet, okay? So those are your spatulas. And then you have your product, okay? So you have your soak, okay? A little, little salt. Um, you have your scrub, okay? The scrub, you can definitely tell it's the sugar. This is the salt. This is the sugar. Okay, doesn't move around much in there. Then you have your mask, your oil, and your lotion. Now the difference between the lotion and the mask. The mask is a deeper purple color, okay, deeper violet. The lotion is lighter, okay, it looks more white. So that's the difference. The mask is darker and the lotion is lighter. Okay, so you have your mask. Um, and you're only going to go from, from the ankle of the foot down. You don't go above with this particular because it's not leg and foot. It's just foot, okay? And then you have your oil, okay, for your massage. 
oh, I switched around, I'm sorry. Your oil goes first and then your mask. So that way the oils get trapped underneath the mask and it allows the skin to absorb both of those essential oils and ingredients and all the goodness in them, okay? Um, you don't take the oil off before the mask, you just layer it on and then you take the mask off, okay? And then you have your lotion at the end, okay? So soak, scrub, oil for massage, mask, and then you apply your lotion and you can massage that in as well, okay? All right, so here's what you're going to do. We're not gonna have any cut and paste items, but you do need your markers, okay? So just like yesterday, when we did our cucumber hand treatment, okay, and we um, wrote down our supplies, all the things that you need, we wrote down the steps, and then you had any notes on the bottom, you're going to do the same thing on your own with your lavender foot treatment, okay? So lavender foot treatment title on the top, your supplies needed, your steps, and then any extra notes that you might have at the bottom. So you can, what I would suggest you do is while you soak, okay, set up your station, nice and professional, take your pictures. While you soak your feet, I would do this. Write this up, okay? And then, take a picture or or wait in a little bit okay put this to the side continue my scrub okay so you're soaking you do your notes you do your scrub you do your massage you apply with your oil you apply your mask after you have a towel ready because you gotta you have to wipe that off okay in the classroom if you want, there are some gloves underneath the sink. If you want to grab those and put the, the gloves on to apply the mask, that's okay too. You're applying the mask with the spatula, okay? So your hands shouldn't be too messy, but you will get messy. So just be aware, okay? You can, you can be very careful with the spatula, not to get your hands dirty. You can put gloves on or you can have a towel so you can wipe the, the, lo the mask off. And then anyway, your hands are gonna be oily from the oil um, massage. So just keep that in mind, okay? So after you apply the, the oil and then you're gonna do your massage, you're going to then apply the mask while you wait and sit for five minutes with the mask on. I would take a picture of me doing my service, take a picture of my notes, insert it into the PowerPoint, submit the PowerPoint for the week, the portfolio submission, the submission portfolio, okay? And then submit my task card, take the mask off, and then do my lotion with my massage, okay? So again, soak, write my notes, scrub, massage with the oil, apply the mask, take a picture, of my notes, take a picture of me doing the service, okay? Submit my PowerPoint, okay? Submit my task card, and then do my massage with my lotion. When I'm done, while I'm cleaning and picking up and whatnot, or sitting down relaxing, then I'm gonna put my, um, my little petty slippers on, okay? Have fun with it, enjoy it. It's not every day you get to pamper yourself. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know, but I really do hope you enjoy.